Jason Witten is leaving the Monday Night Football booth and has signed a one-year deal to play tight end with the Dallas Cowboys. Very, very bizarre. It's a weird story. If you don't know who Jason Witten is, if you've been living under a rock, he's a, no offense, he's a legendary tight end. Um, he played 14 seasons with the Dallas Cowboys from 2003 till 2017. And after the 2017 season, he retired. He walked away from football. He spent the last year in 2018 working as a broadcaster for ESPN's Monday Night Football. And it's just weird all around. He left the gig to join the Cowboys again. And I will admit, look, when he retired from football, it did seem like he had some game left in him. It seemed like he had a couple years left he could have played, a year or two. But a spot broadcasting with Monday Night Football, that's a big, big deal. And uh, when the broadcasting booth opened up, John Gruden left, he became the head coach of the Raiders, and it, it looked like Jason Witten had a really cool opportunity, so he took it. And uh, it really was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for a person like Jason Witten, who otherwise might not have gotten an opportunity like that if it hadn't opened up when it did and if he hadn't taken it when he did. If he hadn't gone for it immediately, they probably would have moved on and found someone else. It's just that Monday Night Football is a gig that once you get it, you never give it up. If you get that chance, you take it. In theory, you know, you would think Jason Witten could have had a second career after football and done Monday Night Football for years to come. But he left. He chose to play football again. And, and I have a couple thoughts. The first one is, thank God, I... Uh, I wasn't a big fan of Jason Witten in Monday Night Football. Like, just being frank, I hated Jason Witten on Monday Night Football. It's not his fault. Look, I, I, uh, I'm pretty forgiving of broadcasters. I know how hard this is to do. But Monday Night Football was bad. Boogie, you know, Boogie and Jason Witten, it just the, the other guy, it didn't work. It wasn't a fit. I really didn't like it often. I found myself muting my TV for Monday Night Football games. And I, I wonder if... If Jason Witten kind of realized doing Monday Night Football was costing him his final chance to play football, if he knew that he was giving up the end of his career for something he didn't really love, wasn't really the best at, and wasn't really passionate about, um, I wonder if he just thought, I don't know, maybe I can't make a career out of this, and I don't want to waste my last chance of playing football in my lifetime. That's very possible. And, and look, he probably missed playing football. That's the thing I, I really latch on to. I'm not sure if everybody knows my story. You know, I played college football for one year. My brother died. I quit. Took three years off. I went to another school. And about a month ago, I started college at Pacific Lutheran University, a school in Tacoma. And uh, I'm playing football again. Because I missed the game. I missed playing football. And I knew I still had a couple years left where I could play. I knew I had to do it now or never. And I would imagine Jason Witten felt the same way. He said, this is my last opportunity. I must take advantage of it now before I and never, ever get an opportunity to play football again. That's why I find this story with Jason Witten really relatable. I go, oh, it's a guy who likely missed his sport. He wanted to play again. So I got one last chance. I'm not going to give it up. Even for a great, great show, I'm not going to do that. Jason Witten is making $3.5 million next year. He also has $1.5 million in bonuses. He could make up to $5 million total. And I think this is a great, great situation for the Dallas Cowboys. He's a great leader. He can still play. I bet he can still play. I, actually, I would think that a year off did Jason Witten some good. It gave him time to completely recover, really fully heal. And uh, I really think that he's just going to have to practice light. He's going to have to do a lot, give himself a lot of time for recovery, a lot of stretching, a lot of working with trainers. That's how all veterans operate in the NFL. All veterans, everyone says this, when they get old, it's not that they can't still do it. It's just more work. I think Jason Witten is going to be very similar. I think he can play a little bit. I think he's going to help the Cowboys. And really, I wonder if you know, he'll be a good leader. He's always been. He's been a team captain for years in the Cowboys locker room. I actually wonder if a year in the broadcast booth gave him a little bit different perspective that could be valuable to the Cowboys locker room next year. You know, Jason Witten, this is really good for the Cowboys. He has over 1,152 catches, he has 68 touchdowns, over 12,000 receiving yards. Jason Witten is a legendary, will be someday a Hall of Fame tight end. And uh, I, I think this is good for the Cowboys, having him back. I think it's also good for Monday Night Football. I wasn't a fan. I really didn't like Jason Witten as a broadcaster. I, I feel bad. I apologize. I'm sure a lot of people listen to me and go, F that kid, I hate him. Uh, but, and I don't like hating on broadcasters, but I, I just didn't think it worked with ESPN. And I'm really glad that, A, Monday Night Football is going to be better. I think Jason Witten gets the closer that he needs, and I'm really excited to hear the story. It was a shock. 
it was a surprise, but all in all, I think everybody wins. Football fans get to win, and yeah, definitely ESPN fans who like Monday Night Football are going to win next year. I don't know who they're going to replace him with, but it cannot be much worse than it was <laughs> last year. I'm sorry to say that, but it, let's be honest, it was not a good run with Jason Witten in the broadcast booth for Monday Night Football. My name is Zach Schaumler. This is my podcast, Strong Opinion Sports. It is my favorite thing in the entire world. And I, I want to I ask for your help. I want this show to grow. I want more people to watch and more people to listen to this podcast. My dream is to do this show as my full-time job. I want to own it myself. I want to do it on the internet and have complete control. I don't want to do it for CBS or ESPN. I don't want to work for a big network. I want to own it myself. And if you believe in that dream, please do me a huge favor. Help me grow by telling your friends about this podcast. Share it on Facebook. Share a link on Twitter. Maybe you screenshot it. Put it on Instagram. I, I, I don't have a marketing strategy beyond this. This is all I have. You know, a lot of people, one of the most common comments I get on YouTube is, you have great content. We love your stuff. You deserve more viewers. What you should do is you should buy ad spaces on Facebook or Twitter or promote yourself and buy, buy revenue, like buy ads. I have no money. I am a broke college kid. I, I can't buy ad spaces. I, 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 don't have, I don't have money to pay for books. And so my plan, this is my marketing plan. This is my strategy. All I plan to do is put every ounce of effort I have into making the very best podcast I can. I believe if I make a great product that people believe in, that people like, then they will share it with their friends. And so if you agree with that, if you believe in the show, if you like what I do, please do me a huge favor. Tell your friends about it. Help me grow by telling your friends about this podcast.